I'm telling you all right here, right now, there is significant opportunity when it comes to OTC stocks and small cap stocks right now. I have 10 total stocks to cover in this video, and pretty much all of them have catalysts this week and big news to drop this week. The OTC volume has increased significantly, and you're not going to want to miss out on these different opportunities. If you do want to join the private Discord, there is a link in the top pinned comment to get alerts early, and there is a link for Moomoo to get 10 free stocks. You can even get Amazon or Apple over there. And in this video, I'm not going to be doing any editing. I'm going to shoot it straight through. Comment down below if you do like that better than editing. Now, stock number one, ticker AUVI, currently sitting at a $31 million market cap, $2.45 right now, down 15% on the previous trading day. I've talked about this one recently in the private Discord. We ran this one up 38% in a single day, and I'm very excited about this play going into next week, and I'll tell you why right now. AUVI is focused on the development acquisition of technologies that address infection pre prevention and a lot of this is air purification. They have two subsidiaries, and these companies deal with air purification and disinfection, infections, and a little bit more than that. This company may remind you of AERC that recently squeezed from $2 to $23 in just two weeks. Very similar play to AUVI when it comes to the fundamentals of the company and what the company actually does. Yes, AERC did have significant news to create this run, which was the FDA clearance for their technology, but AUVI also had FDA news and their product is already FDA class two cleared. AERC is investing in safer air for all, similar to AUVI, but AUVI has a small 31 million market cap compared to that AERC $250 million market cap. The reason I'm even comparing these two because AUVI, in my personal opinion, is a no-brainer sympathy play to AERC. And as I look into it, I like it more and more. AUVI did net sales of 3.3 million quarter one 2022. And that was because of their dis disinfection segment and caused a 45% sales increase from quarter one last year. They have 38 million total assets, which is higher than their current market cap. They only have a 6.5 million float. And that, like I said, y'all, I'm shooting this straight through. So I'm, I'm just going to go through it, give you all the information I have. Now, 26% of the float is shorted, and we all know that retail has been flocking to high short interest plays. And the most recent example being ticker RDBX and AUVI is also on the threshold list, which means many failures to deliver are, in fact, taking place. The cost of borrow is high as well sitting at 183%, meaning the pressure is on these shorts right now. And AUVI is sitting directly at support on a falling wedge right now. You can see it right there. Stock, stock number two, ticker NXMR. I'm very excited about this one. I like the cattle's coming up, including share reduction. The market cap is tiny at 10 million. That's about to come down a little bit. And at a 41 million float. We got an update today. Yes, when the market is closed, we still got a great update from the company. Two announcements this week for sure, and an exact update on audit of financials and the cancellation of shares. What I get out of this is we'll be getting a minimum of two PRs that will likely have something to do with oil and gas deals and possibly a new acquisition on top of Emco Oil Field Services and Defender Contracting. And on top of that, we will get two extra updates on share structure and audit. Four updates total. Now, what is up with the share structure? They're going to be canceling 270 million outstanding shares, which is extremely significant. And that's where I found it from on Twitter from a user that asked them this question. So it should be around 270 million. If you remove 270 million, you are left with only 85 million outstanding shares. This will bring the market cap to 2.5 million at the current share price, which is tiny, and just one of their subsidiaries has done 45 million revenue since 2018. Here are all the services NXM Mars MCO Oil provides, multiple different services. Stock number three, ticker MULN, $1.32 right now, up 5% of the previous trading day, $438 million market cap. They have lots of upcoming catalysts as we get closer to the end of June, but I want to point out that NEO, a larger EV company, is up significantly in Hong Kong today. Yes, they're trading in Hong Kong. U.S. market is closed, not in Hong Kong. Up 12%, 2242. Why I'm saying this, though, is it could be good news for EV companies at least early this week, including MULN. Catalyst number one out of five. Mullen will be joining the Russell 2000 and 3000 indexes on June 27th after the market opens. That's number one. 
Number two, Van CEO confirmed a Fortune 500 van delivery news is on schedule for PR by the end of quarter two and a recent interview in the Fortune 500 company has already been testing the EV cargo van since May. Catalyst number three, license the battery technology out to other companies and it'll basically allow other companies to buy from them and get some revenue off of their battery tech. Catalyst number four, there's still speculation of a future partnership with a $2 billion EV company, EVGo. Back in June, EVGo expressed interest in Mullen, that speculation, but there could be upcoming news between these two companies. Catalyst number five, more hires, including a press release, could come at any moment as they have done multiple times in the past when they hired C former CEO or Tesla employees. I'm shooting this straight through everybody. Mullen thoughts, if you're just trading Mullen, long term is different. Keep that in mind. But if you're just trading this stock, what I believe will happen is Mullen can have a decent push leading up to the two big catalysts, the first two I mentioned, by the end of June. And depending on how significant the Mullen van delivery news is, we could see a buy the rumor, sell the news type of event, as we have seen with so many other companies recently. When a company hypes up a press release, especially for a significant period of time, like Mullen has done with this van deliveries, we've known about this for a very long time, it's a likely scenario that we could see by the rumor sell the news, but if you're a long-term holder, completely different story. Stock number four ticker VGID at 0 .0009, a triple zero, up 12% of the previous trading day, $3.4 million market cap. This is up 50% since my previous video covering it at triple zero six. You can see it's six there. Now it's a nine. That's a 50% gain. Keep in mind, this is not a long-term hold. This is simply a trade. And this tweet right here that was on June 15th will get people excited leading up to this news drop. Working on something huge, hoping to have information to share by the end of next week, which is this week. I believe the news drop will either be Thursday or Friday, but it could come Wednesday. And depending on this news, we could also see buy the rumor, sell the news. Stock number five, ticker GEGI, -E currently sitting at 0 0.004 right now, up 141% on the previous trading day, a 307 million float, a decent float, but a tiny $7 million market cap. This is one of the hottest plays in the OTC right now. I mean, they're working to get back pink current. Yield isn't a big deal in the OTC as long as they're working to achieve pink current. And there is news coming for GEGI next week. We will put out official news for the company next week. There is literally so many different OTC stocks dropping news this week, which is going to be lighting up the OTC potentially. It's, it, it just go on Twitter, check the sentiment. It's getting crazy right now. We don't know exactly what the news is yet. But speculation is driving the OTC and these different companies right now. And there is a solid chance we see more pro positive price action next week at that little tiny $7 million market cap. Stock number six, TXTM. You probably heard about this one if you're an active OTC trader at one cent. If you need to trade OTC stocks, by the way, there is an interactive broker's link in the top pin comment. If you made it this far in the video, drop a like right now. $128 million market cap. That is insane for a OTC pink. If you're trading OTC, you can't ignore this right now. TXTM, I mean, it's going to have a cool down at some point, whether it's this week or not. I mean, they did run over a thousand percent in just a few weeks, but I got to touch on it because they put this out on their website. The recent merger between RSA MMD acquisitions and TXTM has a website being updated to reflect the most current information. Given the amazing current events in the past week, the new website will be reflective of these, of these incredible changes and our future plans. The CEO will be presenting at the Emerging Growth Conference on June 22nd, which is the same day the website will be updated on their future plans. So they got a lot coming for TXTM, but keep in mind, over a thousand percent run in a, in a few weeks, going to see a cool down very soon. It could keep running, 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 but it's going to see a cool down very, very soon, in my opinion. Who knows? It could go to a 200 million, 300 million dollar market cap. Stock number seven, ticker RMRK, currently sitting at 0 0.0018 of 5% of the previous trading day at a $5 million market cap, 1.9 billion float. Update coming soon. We will update shareholders very soon as we are waiting on final approvals. It seems they're closing an acquisition as they've been conducting due diligence for quite a while now. On June 2nd, they are said they're currently conducting due diligence on various acquisitions. Previous tweets have also stated that as well. So they does look like RMRK here is about to drop news on a potential acquisition. It could be this week or it could be in future 
weeks going forward. Stock number eight, ticker INQD. The hype in this one is incredible. I mean, just go on Twitter. It's getting crazy. $28 million market cap, $33 million float. INQD surprisingly had the most excitement from retail I've seen in an OTC stock in a while, even more than GEGI. The CEO sent out a tweet stating, one more day for opportunities, then rest and family. Then we bring the boom. That was on June 17th. There seems like some big news coming next week. I mean, uh, this week, I should say. Follow the CEO, Leslie, on Twitter to see what they have to offer. But this one looks like it could have a big, giant catalyst coming to it. Now, ticker AMLH at 0.001, up 25% of the previous trading day. $4 million market cap. And this one as well. They got a huge update next week. Exciting, huge update next week. And there is literally so many different opportunities in the OTC market, small caps, big boards. It's getting crazy. Just keep an eye on these stocks. Make sure you subscribe to this channel right now. Turn on the notification bell. If you do enjoy no editing and just going straight through, giving you this information, just let me know in the comment section. And if you do want to join the private discord to get alerts, stock scanner live, get the momentum plays, get all these plays early. Link in the top pin comment for that discord and join Moomoo for 10 free stocks. That is it for me. Peace.